I often get asked, how do I get my foot in the door at a funeral home? If I'm interested in working for a funeral home, want to get a job there, how do I even begin? Go to the funeral home. So every day at a funeral home, we have new deceased, new families, new paperwork, phone calls, our deaths are a mess. You wanting a job is not always a priority of what we are doing if we have not asked for new employees to come drop off their resumes and we may not have openings. So don't be first off offended if we don't call you, if we don't respond, if you call, if you email, if you drop off a resume, we don't get back to you because it may go to the bottom of the pile very quickly. So don't be completely dissuaded by that. What I wanna encourage you to do is stop at the right times, approach in the right ways, and be diligent. You also need to look outside your main zone of where you are going to, to look for a job. The local funeral home is only gonna need to employ so many people. They may have no openings at the time, but they may wanna keep your resume on file. They may wanna keep it kind of in case they do have openings that they can call you. So just make yourself known, make yourself in the forefront of their minds that if they do need someone, they can call you. So here's a couple tips. Dress professionally. Don't go at like 1030 in the morning when most funerals are starting at 11 o'clock. Not a great time. Check the newspaper, the obituary listings for that funeral home before you stop in to know if there is a posted visitation or funeral happening. Avoid those times. Great time to go to as a funeral home is like nine o'clock in the morning. People are getting in, getting settled, know the business hours. If they open at nine, don't be there at the door like looking in when they arrive. Give them time to get in and get settled. Maybe stop around 9.30 on those days. Bring donuts, bring coffee, bring a Danish. We love food at funeral homes. It's a great way to get an introduction and get our attention. Do not walk in and just ask for the funeral director or ask for the manager. Whoever opens an entry or like greets you at the door is the gatekeeper to the business. This is typically your office person, the one who's handling the phone calls, the walk-ins, a lot of that. And they're who you go through to get to the manager or the funeral director if that's not who answers the door. Be their friend, win them over. Because then when maybe who might do the hiring comes later, they can say, you know what? This great person walked in today. I do have their resume. They're interested to maybe help out on the weekends, evenings, part-time, full-time, whatever it may be. You need their stamp of approval. So don't just try and get past them learn who they are, introduce yourself. Don't think of the hierarchy of what you think of an office hierarchy. Everybody's important. So make sure you recognize that. Also understand that there's so many roles in a funeral home, not just funeral director, office person. Your funeral director does a lot of office work and your office person does a lot of funeral director work too sometimes. So you've got people who do the removals, the prep work, the dressing, the hair, the casketing. But you also have graphics, videos, printing, legal documents like death certificates, burial permits. You've got parking lot attendants, visitation attendants, people who clean who do the vacuuming, rearranging the chairs, you know, runners who go and pick up death certificates, drop off death certificates, deliver cremated remains to homes. You've got arrangers who don't always have to be a licensed funeral director, depending on the state. You've got pre-need who make the planning ahead, who do the funding ahead, who, you know, get to work with people before the death has actually occurred. You have aftercare people who work with families after a death has occurred, helping with paperwork, support groups, all sorts of things. So there's a multitude of roles within the funeral home. You don't have to be a licensed funeral director or embalmer to do.
There are some you do, but there's a lot you don't. So working at a funeral home does not just mean that you have to be a licensed funeral director and embalmer. A lot of you are later in life folks who think, gosh, I always wanted to work at a funeral home. Can I still do that? Yes, lots of people do, especially like part-time work, which you can work 30, 40 hours a week as a part-timer at a funeral home, working visitations, funerals, um, delivering flowers, greeting folks, all sorts of things, multitude of roles. So as you're going to look and talk to people, offer up the, the baked goods, which is always good. Uh, we love coffee, it keeps us running. And the appropriate times of days to visit, we, we don't really wanna talk to someone at 4.30 as we're getting ready to exit the door at five always. So that first thing in the morning, after we've gotten in, started drinking our cup of coffee and you show up with a donut or something, that's a winner. I'm gonna to listen to what you're saying. <laughs> also, if you're interested in the business and you wanna maybe shadow someone, don't start even by asking to shadow. Start by saying, I would love to know more about the business. I am interested in being a funeral director, embalmer, whatever it may be. Could I take you to breakfast? Could I meet you for a cup of coffee before you go in the office in the morning? Could I take you to dinner? Could I meet you for lunch? Offer up an opportunity that's not just, hey, can you stop in the middle of your day, which is probably crazy, to meet with me because it's important to me. Show that you recognize they are busy and you would like to work around their schedule and you would like to buy them a cup of coffee for their time. Then once you get your foot in the door, say, hey, could I come just shadow you for a day or two? Sit in on an arrangement, watch a funeral, not even watch an embalming. That is a sacred space and that's illegal. So that's gonna take a long time to get to that phase of getting to see that. But once you get your foot in the door, you get working around the funeral home, you're gonna see more than you would even shadowing. So there's a few tips for you, how to get in, how to possibly get a job there. Go from there. Let me know your stories. Let me know if you've done this. Let me know good, bad from going and, and trying to get a job at the funeral home and reactions. Thank you.